Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha if this is your first time here. And today we are talking all about hair and body care and all the stuff I have never talked about on my channel before. Um, now, you may see this thing on my head. It's called a hijab if you didn't know. I might be a little bit confused. Obviously, this is not your average curly hair routine. I'm not gonna be showing you guys my hair. I cover my hair for religious reasons and I would love if you respected that. But I asked you guys on a poll here on the YouTube community tab what videos you guys would like to see from me next. I kind of listed like a milk makeup uh, review, a glossier review, a full face of new makeup, or a hair and body care routine. And the hair and body care routine one by like almost 70% so I know that you guys really wanted to see this and I'm very excited to bring it to you guys. I obviously do have hair under this hijab so I don't want to hear any ignorant comments about why is a hijab you doing a hair care routine we can't even see your hair. Um, I still have hair, I still have the same struggles with hair um, and I still feel like I could give some useful information for you guys even though you can't see my hair. Is not a big deal. Also, I feel like a lot of hijabis shy away from their hair care topic and you know a lot of brands don't send hair care products to hijabis because they're not showing their hair, maybe they don't know if they're interested in hair care products, but we are, we have the same struggles. Obviously when I'm not filming, when I'm with my you know, family, with my husband and stuff, my hair is out, it's flourishing, you know, I want my curls to be popping and bouncing and looking cute just like all of you guys do that don't wear the hijabs, so yeah. Just a little disclaimer. And yeah, I'm just gonna get right in with it because I feel like this video is gonna be quite long. I'm gonna start with hair care, kind of my journey towards finding my groove with my hair. So if you guys are interested in this video, then please stay tuned. And if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, I would love it if you hit that red subscribe button down below, join the fam, and also make sure your post notifications are on so that you don't miss my videos and YouTube does not play you. So with that being said, let's jump into it. So before I jump right into all the products that I'm gonna be sharing with you, guys, I kind of want to explain uh, my hair type, um, my journey in my hair care routine. Basically, if you're wondering what kind of hair type I have, I have about, I'd say maybe, I mean, it's hard to tell because I have different textures, but I'd say about a 3C to 4A hair texture. So I have very curly hair. Um, they are definitely very defined, at least they are now. They definitely didn't used to be. Uh, super, super intense shrinkage whenever I wash my hair. Like my hair, if it's stretched and straightened, it's like maybe down to here. And when it's dry, it's like hovering over my shoulders, maybe just ba barely grazing my shoulders. But when I was kind of growing up, I never knew anything about hair textures. Like I didn't know the different types of hair textures, what products to use on your hair, the lock method, using a deep conditioner. Like I didn't know any of that. Um, I went to school with a lot of white people <laughs> and I saw them having straight hair so I always wanted to straighten my hair. I think the first time I got a perm, I was in grade three and I didn't tell my mom because I was with my cousins. Um, Needless to say, she got very, very upset with me and I had to grow it out. And I just like always had color treated hair. Like even though, guys, I started wearing the hijab when I was 12 and I was color treating my hair since probably like 10. Like I just always loved ch changing my hair color and I didn't stop until about maybe like five years ago. Growing up, I never really knew how to take care of my hair. I would always just like get out of the shower and then brush it out with like a thick, like petroleum jelly-esque cream and it would just be this big lion's mane essentially with like zero curl pattern. Um, and I just thought that was my hair texture. And then when I went to university, I decided that I wanted to texturize my hair um, because I wanted to have some loose curls. I actually wanted to see a curl texture and like since I was gonna have roommates, I didn't want them to see you know, girl roommates, obviously, I didn't want them to see me with like ratchet looking hair. So <laughs> I did texturize for about three years and I stopped texturizing in, the last time I texturized my hair was August of 2016. Haven't texturized it since. So it is completely natural, completely grown out now. So much healthier. And this is the first time in literally my whole life that I've seen my curl texture and like really, really love the products that I use and yeah, so that's kind of my hair care journey in a little nutshell. Um, and also, my hair is very, very hard to grow. Um, it never really used to grow until about recently. The way that I grew my hair after texturizing was I literally just kept it in braids like all the time. You can go back to my old videos and see like the little cornrows under my hijab. Um, but I would literally wash it, 
put it in braids and not touch it until the next wash and I feel like just doing that really helps maintain the different textures in my hair and helped it prevent from breaking off because obviously when you have different textures um, like half texturized or relaxed and then natural hair there can be a little bit of breakage um, and strength loss and stuff like that so that is all I did for literally a whole year until all of it grew out and then I didn't really do the big chop um, that wasn't my kind of vibe. I need some sort of ponytail to wear a hijab or else it'll just look funky under there. So I did not do the big chop, um, but I did kind of trim like every six months maybe, like about that much until it was completely gone. And when there was about like that much left, I just chopped it all off um, at the hair salon. So uh, I probably haven't cut my hair in about a year. It is still very healthy. There are no split ends, which is crazy. Um, and I feel like the products and the techniques that I've used over the last year have been a result of that so i have tried a lot of different of like the vitamins and whatevers and i tried hairfinity i liked hairfinity for a while but um then i found out that the capsules were not vegetarian so i stopped that um and then i found sugar bear hair this video is definitely not sponsored by sugar bear hair i don't i wouldn't i don't know they sent it to me to just try out um and I didn't think it was gonna work and I finished three bottles and my hair grew crazy. Like, I'm not even just trying to hype this product up, guys. My rationale around it was like, because it tastes so good, I want to eat them every single day. So I was very consistent with it. And consistency is the only way you'll be able to have these hair vitamins work for you. If you're not consistent with it, you won't see the growth. So I feel like the fact that it does have sugar in it and it tastes literally like a candy gave me the incentive to literally take two a day, so, until it finished, um, and I really liked it. I pretty much do a wash and go style. Well, I mean, obviously I don't wear it out, but I do a wash and go style anytime I wash my hair. I don't really put it in braids anymore. I just don't, I'm too lazy now, and my hair is still just as healthy. So, basically, I wash my hair once every week and a half to two weeks. I try to stretch it out to about two weeks if I can. If not, then once a week is fine. So I literally use this product for one use only. Herbal Essences Deep Moisture, hella, sorry, my nose is just hella itchy right now. I have no idea why. Um, but yeah, this is the Herbal Essences 0% Paraben Gluten or Mineral Oil Deep Moisture Hello Hydration Conditioner. Um, and this is what it looks like. Um, I have this big old bottle because I literally use this conditioner only to detangle and before I put anything in my hair like once it's wet from the shower when I first jump in I put this stuff in to detangle because it has amazing slip and this is a product that I found um, through watching curly hair videos online and I've probably been using this for like over five years now and I never go without it it just I find it has the most slip I've ever found um, and no matter how detangled your hair is guys I've gotten into the shower with my hair like literally matted like almost borderline dreadlocks and this gets it out so if you have a problem with extremely tangled hair definitely pick yourself up the herbal essences hello hydration and then i go in with this wide tooth brush um i can't use denman brushes my hair just doesn't like it um if you have a softer hair texture i think a denman brush probably would work but for me a wide tooth comb like this works perfectly and once all of my hair is detangled it takes about like five sometimes ten minutes depending on how bad my hair is um but they will come out in the end. So yeah, that's what I do. And then I rinse it all out and then I go in with a shampoo. So I didn't use the shampoo because I heard that co-washing is better or whatever. And I still co-wash sometimes, but nine times out of 10, I will shampoo my hair now. I don't know what it is. I just feel like the curls are more bouncier when you use shampoo. They're more clean. They like have more like flow. The shampoo that I have been obsessed with and honestly, even just the brand that I've been obsessed with is Way Hair Care. But this is their shampoo in their curl line. I always thought Way was for white girls. Let's just be honest. I thought it was for white girls because those are all the people that were promoting it. Um, and I didn't think it was going to work for me. They randomly reached out on Instagram and they sent me a package um, with this in it. And I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, I don't know what happened, but their curl line, let me tell you, is amazing. I wouldn't rave about an expensive hair products like this if it wasn't that great. And I have gone through a crap ton of like drugstore, beauty supply, like everything for hair. And I really, really love this. So this is what it looks like. 
um, and whey doesn't have any like parabens, sulfates and stuff like that too. So it's not gonna like strip your hair. And it also just like looks very pretty. <laughs> If you're into that aesthetic in your shower, I don't know. It looks very pretty and it works really, really well. This is one of the only shampoos that I can use that does not strip my hair. Usually when I use shampoo, it just gets my hair back into that matted stage. Like, oh, I just hate the feeling. Like, I can't even think of it. Um, but this doesn't. Like, I could rake my fingers through my hair while the shampoo is in it and while it's out and rinsed out um, and my hair is soft and detangled and... It just looks great, so I really, really love this. Um, one that I actually found from the drugstore that it reminds me of it a lot and honestly kind of like looks like it. This is the Pantene Pro V Blends um, Charcoal Shampoo and it's a purifying root wash. So if you're someone who washes your hair once a week to more, like to less times a week, does that make any sense? If you're someone who doesn't wash your hair a lot, this product is really, really good. It's a charcoal shampoo. Um, and it's meant to, you know, absorb any oils or dirt or whatever. Um, this doesn't strip my hair either. So honestly, either one of these would be really, really great depending on what you guys would want out of your products. Um, this also doesn't have any parabens, dyes, silicones, and whatever. Also, this has 300 ml and this only has, this has 300 as well. Never mind. A co-wash that I used to use when I wasn't using shampoos on my hair was the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Avocado and Quinoa Co-Wash. Um, this also has no sulfates, no silicones, and no parabens. Um, and this is like specifically branded as a co-wash. Yeah, it has really great ingredients as well. So the conditioner that I use is also by Way, and I love this conditioner. Like, I love this more than the shampoo. I could honestly just go with the Pantene shampoo, but I could not go without this conditioner. This is already my second bottle, um, and it's so good. It's also from the Curl line. I'll show you, it looks exactly like the shampoo. And this smells freaking amazing. Oh my God. This smells so good guys. It smells like, it smells like a good perfume, honestly. So this definitely has fragrance, but like if you're not using fragrance in your hair care, that's like, that takes half the fun away from it because I love when my hair smells really good out of the shower. Um, and so does my husband. <laughs> this is a curl enhancing hydrator that beautifies your hair's natural texture infused with our unique smart technology complex for nourished, healthy looking hair. So whatever is in this, honestly, makes a huge difference with my curls. This has something in it that honestly leaves your hair so bouncy and so curly. All these products all together really do that, but I honestly feel like, like I have noticed a difference between using the way stuff and not using the way stuff. Um, and there is a huge difference, like just with that alone. Um, so there's something in these curl products that does amazing things for your hair. If you are someone who has never really seen the definition in your curls before, then honestly just get a sample from Sephora or something and see what this does for your hair because it is truly magical and that's all I'm gonna say because I don't really know what's in it. It just works really great and it doesn't have the bad stuff, so. It's a win-win. And then also from Way, I'm sorry, this is not sponsored by Way. I just really like their products and I wouldn't be talking about it if, you know, if this wasn't really, really my routine. Um, but this is the treatment mask. Now this is just a little travel size version, um, but they do have a full size. Obviously I left that one in LA though. Um, but this is what it looks like. It literally is just a plain bottle. This is treatment mask. Again, no clue what's in this, but I use it every single time I wash my hair, kind of like a deep conditioner. And I leave it on for about like 10 minutes, just with like a little shower cap, get steamy while I'm like shaving or something. And um, it it is magical, so-called magical. I don't know, it's just, it says it's a restorative healing mask that's formulated to repair damage in minutes. And I honestly believe that. I put this from root to tip. Oh, also with all these products I put from root to tip, um, so including the conditioner and everything, just letting you know, like I love, I love this treatment mask. It is so good. And I'm just very passionate because I've never had a curly hair routine that's worked and like my hair is actually bouncy and curly and the curls stay for like three, four days. I've never had that and it's truly glorious. One of the best tips that I've ever learned, I don't even know where I learned this, it might have honestly been Asia Jackson. So shout out to Asia Jackson. Um, she is amazing, she's a good friend of mine. Also a YouTuber, you should check her out. Um, but she 
mentioned that you should always style your hair if you have curly hair while it's soaking wet and I was just like that's gross like you come out of the shower your hair is dripping and like how do you no I don't even get out of the shower while my hair is soaking wet just as I've rinsed out the treatment mask I put on all the other products and I let it sit like that and I do not squeeze the water out I don't do anything until after I get out of the shower and it has changed the game for me. But while my hair is wet, I then take this product. This is by Camille Rose Naturals and it's their Curl Love Moisture Milk. Um, it says it has rice milk and macadamia oil. Loves all curl types and textures. So first of all, it literally smells like Betty Crocker frosting, like vanilla frosting. It smells so good, like you almost want to eat it. <laughs> Um, but it has like natural milks, oils, butters to nourish and moisturize any elongate, dry, withdrawn curls. So this is my leave-in conditioner um, or leave-in like moisture milk. And I put a good amount of this in my hand. I put it in and I just kind of like rake the product through, trying not to mess up my curl pattern. And I put this all throughout um, from root to tip and especially focusing on the tips as well. And then what I do is once it's all kind of in there, that's when I stop touching my hair. All I do is go like this and between the palms of my hands, I squeeze my hair like this. And I just, I don't know, whatever that does, it just kind of pops the curls up. I don't know where I learned this, but it is a game changer for me as well. Like literally just squeeze your hair in between your palms and just kind of like brush down and kind of leave it and kind of shake your hair. And it will kind of clump the curls together and just leave them very bouncy and pretty. So that's what I do with this product. Obviously you don't wanna to use too much cause then it'll weigh down your hair. It'll get all crunchy. It'll get like, it just won't be cute. Um, and your curls won't be as bouncy and movable. So after that is in, I then go in with the Curl Enhancing Smoothie by Shea Moisture. I'm sure you guys have heard of this. This is what it looks like. Um, I get mine at the beauty supply store, but they also recently there we go. They also recently started selling at Walmart and this is basically a very thick, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. It's like not much left in there, but it's a very, very thick formula. Like it literally won't even come out if I go like this and it's kind of like jelly. I kind of want to just show you. Like it's even hard to just kind of like scoop out here. Like it's, it's kind of like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like a, a jelly as you can see. It's kind of the texture of, like a custardy jello. Ooh, like a custard. It's the texture of cold custard. <laughs> it's a really good, that's a really good comparison. Um, I'd say like about that much product. And I put that in between my hands and then I kind of just like do the same thing. So I kind of like rake it through, not really rake it, but just kind of like press all the product in my hair. And then I do that same technique where I go throughout all my hair and I kind of press it together and leave it bouncy and whatever. Um, and then after that, I kind of shake out my hair so the curls can kind of separate. And then I just put in a ponytail and I let it be, I let it drip, drip, drip until I wash my body, wash all the conditioner off. And that is pretty much all the products. After I get out of the shower and um, I take out the ponytail, then I take a little bit of oil. So this is an oil that I've been using a lot of, as you can see, also by Way. Um, and this is their rose hair and body oil. This one, the reason why I've been using it so much is because I've been traveling a lot and I really love the fact that it's so compact. And then also I can use this on my body because I like using body oils as well. Sometimes I will also go in with this guy. This is the charcoal and tea tree scalp treatment. Um, so this I will put in usually like with my other products or while I'm doing like a treatment mask, I will just like kind of take a little bit of this and put it into the center of my head, just anywhere that's itchy. And that's only if I have an itchy scalp that time I'm washing it. So I don't use it a lot, but uh, I mean, I, I it's almost done. I use, I have used it a lot, but I don't use it every single time. So if you have an itchy scalp, um, this one is a really great product. Um, so it has charcoal and tea tree and it works really well. And then another oil that I use usually when I'm at home is the soft all over multi-purpose oil, also sulfate free, paraben free, no mineral oil or petroleum. And this one you can use on your head to your toes as well. And this is by the brand Auntie Jackie. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So what I used to do when I got out of the shower is just kind of leave my hair to air dry. Um, but what I noticed is that I got a lot of frizz when that happened for whatever reason. And it also just didn't, there wasn't a lot of volume. It didn't, like the curls, they just weren't living their best life basically. So, 
tips. I recently invested in the Dyson the Dyson Supersonic hair dryer, I think it's called. I'm not really sure, but this is what it looks like. This was actually the special edition one that came with a bunch of whey products um, at Sephora during their VIB sale. So I picked it up then and that's when I got to try whey and then, you know, they reached out after that. Um, but this has changed my life. So I bought this with my own money, guys. Um, Dyson did actually reach out and want to send me one, but they wanted to see a positive review and I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it yet. And also, it's just so expensive, so I wanted to make sure if I was gonna recommend it, like I personally would spend my own money on it. And I absolutely would, and I absolutely recommend it. So if you guys were thinking of picking up the Dyson, I know it is very expensive, but I have gone through so many diffusers in the past, and they just don't work for me, or like this thing always pops off. Sorry, it comes with, oh, this way. It does come with a little diffuser attachment. Um, and yeah, always, the diffuser always used to pop off on my old ones, and like, it was just a mess and I was spending so much money trying to find the best diffuser. I figured I might as well just buy the best. And I love that this is like magnetic so it literally doesn't come off unless you pull with force. And yeah. So the way I diffuse my hair, I don't do those typical like scrunching method like this. I feel like that would probably work if you don't have super intense curls and want to kind of like fake them by like blowing them up like this. But if you have super curly hair and you don't, and you want to avoid shrinkage, then this is what you do. So all I do is just very gently, I kind of, I first let my hair air dry, maybe like five to 10%. So this is usually when I'm just cleaning the shower tub um, or I don't know, putting on my lotions or anything like that. Once that is done, um, I take my hair and I just kind of like, go off to the side like this and I just kind of hover. So I will touch my hair onto this, but it's mainly just a hovering motion. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to get my fingers in there after all the products are in. I do not touch my hair like that. So I literally just kind of hover and place the diffuser all over my hair. And guys, normally without a diffuser, my hair takes about four hours, four to five hours to dry completely, possibly even more. Um, but because I wear the hijab, like it usually takes over 24 hours because it doesn't have enough time to air dry. Um, but with this, I'm not even lying, it takes me 10 to 15 minutes to get completely dry hair. And that is why it is worth it for me because I don't have a lot of time. Sometimes I wanna wash my hair in the morning and I wanna be able to dry it and wear my hijab. So yeah, although it was very expensive, it was worth every single penny. And the defined curls is probably the best part of this. Like. I get super defined, super curly, juicy looking curls. And I don't even know what my hair looks like before the Dyson. I don't wanna know. I don't wanna remember that part of my life. Dark times. After my hair is dry, um, just a little bit of maintenance um, is definitely important. So when I sleep, I sleep with a bonnet or bonnet all the time. Um, you guys would have seen this in my morning routine video. I kind of just like put it over my hijab to be funny but this has like a kind of like a silky texture inside so it keeps your curls very defined and then this is so I'll I'll have this link down below I forgot the exact brand name but they have a large or a medium and then this is I believe they're extra large hair bonnet um, to fit all your hair and I don't put my hair in a particular pineapple or whatever the pineapple does not work for me I don't have that kind of hair that can easily be man, you know manipulated like that and come back down and be all flowy so I just leave it as is like in a fro and I just put this straight on top so my hair is literally in a fro but it's just in this um, and I sleep and I wake up the next morning I kind of zhuzh it out within like 10-15 minutes my hair is back to normal beautiful curls defined not frizzy and anything like that so yeah, I really, really love this. You can also sleep with a silk pillowcase, but I don't, I don't sleep with a silk pillowcase. I probably will soon, but for now, I really, really love this. And then I don't, I probably should, but I really don't touch my hair for another week or until I wash it the next time. Um, I just kind of like keep it in a ponytail when I'm wearing the hijab. Um, but if you're looking for protective styles, braids are really, really great. Um, and that's all I would know. <laughs> because I don't do anything. Um, you could touch up with oils and stuff throughout the week, but I honestly, like if I'm being, if I'm keeping it 100, I will touch it until the next wash.
That is pretty much it for this video, guys. I don't think I'm gonna get to body care, so just let me know in the comments down below if, if you know, knowing my body care tips and stuff would be of interest to you guys because I actually have all the products laid out. I just, this video's way too long to begin with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will have all the products that I can list listed for you down below so you guys can check them out. I know I talked about a whole bunch, but these are all products, tried and true products that I really, really love. Um, I forgot to mention this, but the Briogeo uh, Deep Repair, so don't despair repair treatment um like the deep conditioner is also one of my favorites i just don't have that to show right now subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you learned anything new if you found this video helpful let me know i've never done a video like this before so hopefully you guys found it interesting enough um but yeah Bye. <laughs>